Have you guys seen the new training footage from Mike Tyson? If you haven't, go watch it because Mike looks scary, guys. This is insane. The seriousness that Mike is taking into this fight is, is amazing. This isn't just an ordinary fight for Mike Tyson. This is about legacy. This is about proving a point. And Mike, I'll tell you what, he looks dominant. He looks scary. And Jake Paul should be afraid for his life. This fight, it, it, they're saying it's a an exhibition, but they're trying to get it unsanctioned. Mike looks like he's ready to kill somebody. I mean, watching this guy hit the pads, you know, the speed, the power. He has more speed and power, I think, than any boxer today, even, even that's boxing right now. And this is scary. This is like scary, scary, right? I mean, the fact that Mike looks this good at almost 58 years old is terrifying. The fact that Jake Paul would take this fight now is terrifying. You know, it, but it, it's awesome to say, and I and I said this in my live last night. I said, it's so cool that people our generation are saying, hey, we're gonna see we're gonna watch Mike Tyson fight. Now people 20 years ago used to say that, hey, we're watching Mike Tyson fight. And it, it's just insane that we get to say that. We, that we get to say, hey, we watch Mike Tyson fight in a live boxing ring. Crazy, right? And regardless of the outcome, regardless if Mike loses or wins, the fact that he's still going and pushing himself for the fans, for himself, is a win for everybody. Mike is a legend. Mike has nothing left to prove. If he loses, if he gets knocked out, there's no... It's okay because he's past his prime. Mike has nothing left to prove. Mike was a killer back in the day. We know... Mike had some crazy knockout power back when he was fighting. Matt, Mike is way past his prime. Now, as for Jake Paul, I hope Jake Paul does not think this is going to be an easy fight. I hope Jake Paul is, is training hard. I hope he's ready. Um, I don't think he's ready mentally. Um, even in the little face-off that we've seen, Jake looks frightened. He looks like he's scared. He looks like a scared little boy. But, um, yeah, Mike, Mike looks scary. And I feel sorry for Jake. I, I think Jake's going to regret signing the contract for this fight. And I don't know about the rules. I've heard about the rules, that there's headgear involved, that there, there's all these rules and stuff. Jake better hope there's headgear involved. Jake better hope that there's no knockouts allowed, like the Roy Jones Jr. fight that Mike had a couple years ago. But what I don't get is why would Jake take a fight against a 58-year-old man who has nothing left to prove? Why? Because Jake probably sees this as a money fight. This is a money fight. This is to gain attention. Which is probably why it's on Netflix as well. The fact that it's on Netflix is a good thing for me because I get to watch it. But I, I feel like Jake is desperate for attention right now. He knows that Ryan Borman fight. Did not go the way he wanted. It didn't gain the attention that he wanted. Like his previous fights in the beginning. And I think he knows that. Which is why he picked a fight with Tyson. I will give Jake credit. Jake is a good promoter. Jake is a good advertiser. He knows what he's doing. He's smart. But getting in the ring with Mike Tyson. That's not so smart. He might knock your brain out. You might not be as smart as you think you are after the fight. But Mike, mentally, physically, he looks terrifying. He looks like he's ready to go. He's taking this fight serious. And this to, to him, I don't think this is an exhibition fight. I don't think this is a just a regular fight to, to Mike because this is this is terrifying. The guy looks scary. And regardless of what you think of Tyson for taking this fight, you got to respect the man. He's going against a guy that's twice his age, younger than than him. He's going against a guy that's 27 years old. A guy that has all the advantages, speed, size, probably, I wouldn't say strength. But, I mean, you know, whatever. 
He has Jake has the stamina. He has the age difference. He has a lot of advantages in this fight, but Mike, I think, in my opinion, is out to prove himself. He's out to prove that he could still got he still got it at an old age, that he could still fight, and that's what's scary about all this. Is that a Mike Tyson that feels like he's out to prove something is a scary Mike Tyson. And I, I, like I said, I feel sorry for Jake because I honestly don't know what is going to happen in this fight. I don't know what to expect. I hope that it's, I don't, I don't know the rounds for this fight. I heard it's eight rounds. I don't know. I know that um, Mike Tyson's Roy Jones Jr. fight was at least eight rounds and they went all eight rounds, which is crazy. So Mike, I mean, that was two years ago, but Mike, you got to understand, he probably still has his stamina. If Mike can go two years ago, he could probably go again, being in decent shape. But um, I'm uh, I'm curious about this fight. I really am. I'm excited. But what are your thoughts in the comments? Have you seen Mike Tyson's training footage? How do you think this fight is going to go? Do you think this fight will get sanctioned by the Boxing Commission? Who are you guys picking? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like and sub button, guys. Let's hit 950 subscribers. Let's go.